I go, look, let's see if we could get a day two rally. I'm skeptical based on this, because again, the cues would have to be. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition, uh, Fed edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had a good day. So uh, today was Fed day. Uh, earlier in the week, there was hinted that there was going to be a 75 uh, basis point hike. And the question was, were they going to uh, commit to this? And the question going forward is, what was their plans uh, for the future? So we got the 75 uh, base point hike. Um, they they basically said that they, this is not going to be a normal occurrence. They did say, though, in July, they're looking for another one somewhere between the 50 and the 75 base points. But again, rest assured, right? It's not going to be a normal thing. We'll see, right? One day at a time. That's all we, we could look for. And yesterday, if you guys remember yesterday, uh, the Bulls had every opportunity to rally. And they just couldn't do it. They just absolutely couldn't do it. Uh, after 34, 35 points uh, on the on the cues to the downside in the last three, four days while losing uh, the 20-day moving average, the cues were up 50 cents yesterday. And the question was, well, what was going to happen today? And the one thing that we always talk about is don't try to predict, okay? If you're in the business of trying to be right and impressing some 14-year-old uh, on TikTok, how smart and brilliant you are. Number one, remember, we're all idiots, okay? We know nothing. We know absolutely nothing. The only thing we know is the data that we are bringing in that everybody has right in front of them, and we're trying to make an educational uh, decision. We're trying to make a, a thought-provoking uh, decision that is gonna put our money not only in a place that is safe, but it could thrive at the same time. And going into this session, I, I kind of, you know, I had both sides, you know, I was kind of planning on both sides today. And we'll, you know, we'll talk about the pivots in a second. So it wasn't one of those scenarios today that there was 25 pivots long, 25 pivots short. It was more like, well, let's see what we can get, right? Let's see what we can get. Um, and then let's kind of move on after, uh, after the Fed. And this is kind of what we're on uh, today, right? And the way the day played out was pretty similar. Um, I think uh, this was, you know, a, a small win for the Bulls. I, I think that's the best way of saying it. I, I, I was talking about in the webinar prior, uh, prior to um, the Fed that I believe that if any day, right, if any day uh, the Fed was going to uh, spark any type of desire for Bulls to start rallying and put in a 500 to 1,000 point move today, today would have been the day because, again, if you look at, uh, if you look at what the Diamonds have done in the last, you know, three, four days, you know, we were down, what, 18, 1900 points. So the idea that we could have rallied back today 500 or 1000 points wouldn't have been outlandish at all, not at all. But instead, um, you know, bulls did okay today. I think that's the best way of saying it. They did okay. 1% uh, rise for the Dow doesn't really uh, turn the needle. Two and a half percent rise by the Qs. And, and, and here's kind of the important point. And this is the first day that I could, uh, I could honestly say for, for, for a while, I mean, going back to since we lost the, the bottom channel here, it, it kind of felt okay today, right? Like names like Amazon that were weak all week, say that five times fast, they were weak all week, right? Was actually holding up today pretty well. A name like Tesla today, uh, there was a blog that came out that called Tesla fraud, right? Fraud, this, that, the other thing, right? There's, there's not a million Teslas on the road. They're the worst, absolutely the worst. Remember, the worst. Best stock, worst car. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm joking. I love the car. I love the stock. Um, but e even with a hit piece or quote unquote hit piece uh, by a blog, Tesla held up very, very well. And the one thing that we did notice uh, when they did release uh, the notes, right? Notes from the meeting and Powell was speaking, they tried to get the NASDAQ down several times. They just couldn't do it. And, and that was a very, very uh, important um, theme for today. Bulls actually held their ground. Uh, we actually did see uh, some pretty good option flow today. All day, uh, we saw going into the Fed, uh, we saw 106, 107, uh, 110, 111 and a halves uh, short-term expiration for Amazon. Uh, we saw some 
680s, 700s, 745s uh, for Tesla. The one stock that's still giving me a little bit, you know, I'm trying to digest what they're doing. We're still seeing a lot of a lot of bets on Apple. Even when the market was rising, we still saw a, a good amount of bets for the 130 uh, weekly puts. Considering there's two days of expiration, the stock was moving up a little bit towards the afternoon. It's kind of it's kind of odd. Same thing with Nvidia, right? Same thing with Nvidia. Uh, they, you know, they were they were hitting you know those they were hitting those those puts pretty aggressively. So again, something just to watch. Uh, for the next couple of days. Now, look, are we out of the woods? Absolutely not, right? I mean, 100% absolutely not. Uh, all we did today was uh, we had a nice rally. That's all it was on the face uh, face value. Uh, you can see here this orange line. If you've watched this video for a while, you kind of know the importance of the five-day moving average. That is the short-term sentiment. As you can see here, the Qs got rejected off the five-day moving average. Uh, if you look at the SPIs, right? Same thing, right? SPIs traded up to the five-day moving average rejected uh if you look at the iwm right they didn't quite make it to the five-day moving average but this is kind of you know where we are today now again if you're a bull you know beggars can't be choosers i think at this type of environment i think any day uh that you can get a green day is a good day right you're, you're kind of buying your time but here's the problem when when the bulls can't reclaim the shortest term sentiment right um, that's usually, a, you know, that's that's a that's not a great sign. It's really not. And you know, I, I I tweeted out on the on the private Twitter feed today. I go, look, let's see if we could get a day two rally. I'm skeptical based on this because again, the Qs would have to reclaim today's highs. The spies would have to reclaim today's highs. But I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. I put you know I put a bunch of longs uh, on the on the, on the list for tomorrow. Um, but you know, I am skeptical. And if you guys look at the last. Fed meeting that we actually did have a thousand point rally uh, in the Fed. Uh, the next three, you know, the, the next day, this candle completely engulfed the three days of buying and started another selling cycle. So, you know, listen, one day at a time, right? I think that's the best way of saying when you're trading on the long side in a bear market cycle, again, what are you hoping for, right? I mean, you're hoping for sellers get tired and we start to rally. That's exactly what happened at the bottom of the range here. The problem was after the consolidation of two weeks, they lost the 20 day that they worked so hard to reclaim only to take out the low. So it's very, very tough to get excited here, but at least let's give the bulls the benefit of the doubt for tomorrow. Again, I'm still you know pretty skeptical, but hey, let's see, you know, you never know. But if we start losing ranges tomorrow, again, guys, at the end of the day, the overall theme was we're still in a bear market scenario. You know, as long as we stay below the 50 day moving average, hell, as long as we stay below now the five day moving average, it's gonna be very, very tough uh, to get this market rallying, but we'll see, right? One day at a time, the only thing we could, we could ask for is to wake up, right? To wake up in the morning, to be healthy, happy, and attack the markets with the data that we have, not the data uh, that we want. So let's talk about uh, today, right? Uh, there was only, I put three long pivots to the upside. I put a bunch of uh, pivots to the downside. Obviously none of the downside pivots triggered, but the ones who triggered to the upside, you know, did, did fairly well. So you had Amazon, uh, Amazon yesterday, it kept on getting rejected off this 104.50 level. If you look at the 60 minute view, Right. If you look at yesterday's channel, you, oh, sorry about this. E signal. It's, it feels like it's a day to day thing here. E signal still hasn't updated. But if you look at yesterday's channel, right, um, you will see the top of this channel. Oh, excuse me, wrong channel here. Here it is, right here. If you look at this channel here, it's 10450. See it? 10440, 10440. So we knew if it started building above this 10450, it was going to start to rally. You know, nice first initial move. It started rallying, then it got up to this 10650 level. Uh, that was the previous channel's high. And then once the Fed came out, a uh, nice run into the five day. Again, this is the same thing as the Qs and the spies did. They got rejected, but it had a nice move uh, into the 109 uh, area. Again, you know, that's that's the whole point of technical analysis. You don't need a hundred stocks. You just need the ones uh, that you know are going to expand if there is a reversal. Uh, Roblox never got down to 25. Uh, Tesla had two pivots today, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Uh, 680 needs to build, rejected back-to-back -back days. First move was about seven points, six points, was about six points. And that's when that, um, and that's when that, um, that hit piece came out or whatever the hell it was, the stupid hit piece that got engulfed two hours later. But here is the 680, right? You see it, 680, 680. So the first move was into supply and that was the afternoon pivot. And you'll see right here, here, give me a second. All these other pivots, 
They don't make, you know, they, they never confirm down shop, never confirm Netflix, Airbnb. They never confirm down. Uh, FedEx, before we get to the, the, uh, the Tesla, FedEx, nice move here. 232.30 needs to build. This was a, a confirmation day to run by uh, the increase of dividend the other day. So here is here is a 232.50, right? Once it got above that, went to 240. Nice push there. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, so here is... So here is the next big area. Uh, here was the next big area of supply, uh, 688. So it got above the 688, started building above the 688. I said there's a shot it could get to, uh, there's a shot it could get to, yeah, right here, 689, 690 for experienced traders for a move to 696 and 702. Uh, Tesla went, you know, took out the 96, took out the 702 and traded all the way up to uh, 707. So that's it, right? That's it. Fed days out of the way. We did what we had to do. Uh, the Fed did what we had to do. Uh, again, is it a great economy? No. Gas prices through the roof. Everything's expensive. Inflation, this, that, the other thing. Um, but again, we're here, right? We're here. Whatever life throws at you, you're going to be prepared for it. And the most important part is always stay positive and keep a smile on your face. So tomorrow, again, I'd like to see a day two run in the, of the bulls. But again, I'm just very, very skeptical, uh, especially the way we got rejected on all major moving averages on the five day moving average. But again, as they say all the time, we shall see, said the blind man. Guys, have a great night. Enjoy. God bless. And I will see you all tomorrow.